Hey guys, Greek here, what's up? Welcome to an Everything I Got in December 2022. This is the second time I filmed this. The first time I filmed this, the audio quality was terrible. We're redoing it. Actually, I've gotten a couple more things since I tried filming this last time. I think I'm kind of a shopaholic. This one's just a tie dress. So you zip it up here and then you take this piece and you tie it to the other strap right here. That's all shorts and then that's all skirt. It's open back too. I think this would look good with gold hoops. So this shirt I got was a small from Rue 21 and I really needed it because winter ball was coming up, this rhinestone patch. And it's got this lace right here that circles all the way around and then continues through the back. But there's two ruffles. If you've been on this channel for a bit now, you know I have an anti-fragile obsession. Anti-fragile is a song by Le Seraphim. These are the outfits they wear with it. Of course, I got this. It's a white furry cap. So this looks really good with dangly earrings. The only downside is, I walked into my Christian youth group with this hat on, and within an hour and a half, I got called Russian 15 times. I'm gonna make a point. Russian is a nationality, not an ethnicity. I'm American, I am not Russian. This one's just this flat crop tank from Sheen, and it has this glitter on it, as well as these rhinestones underneath. They're they're fake, so they're gonna break easily. But for the meantime, I feel stunning, and now I know these look good with leather, so I'm gonna wear these with my leather leggings. Feels like a burlesque dress, where they flap everything. Where's my anti-fragile hat? Looks good at the top, and it looks good with the jeans that I wore. But it might look better with leather. I got these with part of my sheen set. I've already worn them about four or five-ish times. They have this chain on their hip. This one has like a jean pocket underneath the chain. And when I'm wearing these, I don't feel like I'm sharing too much skin. This is another thing I got for Christmas. It's a black dress from Romwe. It's exactly like top that I got from Rue, except it's a dress form. There are two big slits. I feel like I'm about to go sumo wrestle somebody. And whenever I walk, it parts like the Red Sea and I feel like I'm Darth Vader, about to go kick Luke Skywalker's butt. I'll do more than just kick it. Actually, no, I'm really more an Anakin though, so I'll go for the <laughs> But the back, it's just a bearless crossbody. So this is a large from Rue 21. It's cute. It's just a shorts wrapper. This opens all the way up and you have a little skirt and you pull it and you just tie it. But in the back, it's also just still shorts. We have these bows up top so that it can fit. I'm interested to see how I'll style this in the summer because I don't know. I've got a few earrings. It's got three strands that are just one butterfly, but in the middle it's got three butterflies, two in the middle, and then a third on the bottom. Honestly, all the butterfly earrings give me a Y2K feel. The second set I have is just two butterflies, a big one and a small one. They really stand out and frame your face. They're definitely a statement. The pack actually had three earrings in it, and I happened to lose one. I have a singular earring. Yeah, I happened to lose it over New Year's. I knew I was gonna lose it, so I took my least favorite pair. I'm okay, they're kind of ugly. The other two are pretty though. Two out of three, we're good. So I got these sweatpants. Great on one side and they're plain on the other. And they have pockets, which is a plus. I didn't think they did. I'm happy about this. I would prefer if these were around your waist, but they kind of give you hips. So I'm kind of okay with this. They have very thick elastic bands on both the waist and the legs. This feels like somebody went to Hobby Lobby, got elastic and fabric and sewed their own pants. So this dress is way out of my time frame. I don't know. I tried it on and it looked stunning. My mom says this is like 1985 homecoming dress with the big bow. The big bow is like 1985. It runs in together and it ruches. And then it has this reflective design on it. I don't know. It's it's something. This skirt I picked up from the thrift shop is a no bow medium, but it's this plaid and with the blue and the pink, I get cotton candy vibes. I've also been wanting to add more skirts to my closet and I thought that this one, it's a thick skirt that I could wear in the winter. This is another skirt I got. This one's a medium from Forever 21. It's this pleated coatish material and then it's just flowers. It reminds me of an old grandma napkin. But once again, this is a very warm skirt. I have a couple of pants, actually. <laughs> this was the first pair of pants I picked up. They're just black dress pants. They are perfect around my waist. You guys don't understand that this is something you get tailored to pretty much fit this well. But I found these at a thrift shop. I am fulfilling my female K-drama CEO boss lady dreams. <sighs> That was a long sentence to get out. It's beautiful. I already forgot the brand, but they're 2P and made in the Philippines. They're black like the last pair, but they have white lines down them. This is low-key the better version because they have pockets. The other does not. 
<laughs> At the Toko shop, if you spent $20 or more, you got a scarf. Fabric design, a lion in a V, and it gave me British schoolboy vibes. That looks kind of weird. I'll figure out how to use it. This one doesn't have a brand on it, nor a size. This top is from H&M. It's just a white bandana top with butterfly print. I like how this shirt fits, and it looks super cute with my jeans. Obsessed with this shirt, and I can't wait to wear it. This one's just a blue jean dress from H&M. It gives your body a shape but it's so nice. I feel comfortable. I feel like I could maybe not run a mile or do a cartwheel, but I could go party for a few hours or I could hang out with my friends. Cause the thing with this is it's so versatile that you can throw a jacket on it and tennis shoes and be fine. The only thing I'm disappointed about is the straps. They don't have a size adjuster, which I'm gonna have to go buy my own size adjuster cause it can go like this and the straps will just fall off. I don't have boobs, which is why this dress doesn't fit correctly, but otherwise it would. I tried on the extra small and it fit perfectly except the zipper. It's such a no effort zipper. If it's just like the slightest bit too tight for your body, it'll just finally zip down. Example of a hard zipper. If that H&M dress had this hard of a zipper, I would've gotten an extra small. This was another dress that I got from H&M and this one is my favorite. This with my black high top converse. I'm so excited to wear this. It's just the same as the jean dress, except it's tan. You can't see it as much, but it does have the same line right here. Instead of the two spaghetti strap, this one has a difference in the design and the other one is it zips right here too. Whereas the jean one zips in the back. I definitely feel that I'll be wearing this one more often than I will be wearing the jean one because this one accentuates my body and my boobs aren't falling out. That's a plus. I was at my grandparents during New Year's and this is a hat my grandmother gave me before we left. J-Hope was wearing this fluffy bucket hat and my grandmother was like, you know, I have this hat. It looks similar to that. Do you want it? And I'm like, sure. But that's one of the items. Okay, so these next couple of things weren't really in December, but they were in the first week of January, so I'm just gonna put them in. This is another dress I got, but this one's from Walmart. Guess how much I paid for this? $2. Yeah, so this was legitimately a steal. I don't know, I just saw them to the left of me. Wait, is that a $2 clearance tag? And it was. $2. And I remember looking at it and I was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe not, I can put it back. But did I look at all the other dresses beside it and they all say $5. Mom, this one says $2. They priced it incorrectly. They put the clearance for the NB pinafore dress on, which was completely gone. I could never find it. But this is the NB swing dress. They priced it, so my mom was like, it's $2 and it has adjustable straps. It's just a little brown dress. Oh yeah, it's got a ruffle at the bottom. It's so cute. This is something I'd wear to church in the summer. My mom said though, it would look good with like jeans underneath it. No. I don't think this was the pair I was wearing that day, but this is gonna be my example. She said this would look cute. The jeans under the dress and that I would get compliments like this. Mom, are you on medication? I went to a high school basketball game. They had a raffle ticket and the winner got a $500 scholarship to Quincy University and a shirt. And I happened to win the raffle ticket and I got this shirt. It's nice for a t-shirt. And I like to pair it with these jeans I was also given. Macy got a bunch of clothes and these were jeans that she did not want or did not fit her. So I got some rips and then on the bottom too. This is such a comfy outfit. I actually spent the night at Dakota's in this. I got these leather pants from TJ Maxx. They were so $16. They have pockets. And that's a win for me, baby. Okay, so there are a few things that I got that weren't close. This is a pair of boots that I picked up. They're long, they go to your knees, and they're healed. They're not adjustable, so you can't size them to your leg. But these are everything I needed in an outfit. I asked for these and I got them. And they're just yellow rim glasses. Why are they so dirty? This is just a yellow set I got. I got this brown Oliver Peoples glasses case to put them in. The problem is though, they smell like old man and I thought I got the old man scent cleaned out and I in fact did not. So now I need to find my women's perfume. Don't question me. This one is a Ninjago book. Way of the Ninja. It's the prologue to Ninjago. Y'all don't know how obsessed I am with Ninjago. That's everything I got. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below your favorite item and make sure to tell me if that dress looked good with jeans underneath. I am a firm no, so fight me in the comments. Make sure to tune in at 2 p.m. on this date because I will be wrapping Macy's stuff in wrapping paper. Yeah, I love you, Macy. And Macy, if you wondered why I said you could not watch this video, this is why. Okay, bye-bye. Love you guys. I'm done. Thank the Lord.